And that's what we do with extra eggs. We turn eggs into bacon. <laughs> Is it good? How's that? Is that what you're trying to do? Oh, that's so good. These critters are cool. This is their water dish uh, that we got them when we got the pigs and they use it as a bathtub to wallow in. So we need to make them a better water situation. And that's what we're gonna do today. A while back I got uh, five of these food grade barrels. They had uh, barbecue sauce in them. Honey mustard actually. But the cool thing is when they put the barbecue sauce in, they put it in a bag and then they put the bag in here so nothing has ever actually touched the inside of the barrel. So it makes it perfect for a water barrel. So we're going to, uh, it's got a clamp here, release all the air, it smells like honey mustard. Now I got five of these because I'm going to build a rain catchment gravity fed system up at the cabin to feed downhill so that we'll always have water. But for now I'm just going to get it, get this set up so we can put water in it and it'll be heavy enough that they can't push it over, root around it, knock it over. So it's pretty, it's perfectly clean inside, nothing's ever been in it. This was a good find. Okay, now these are still sealed, which is good, so you know that nothing ever has been in it that you don't want in it. Um, but I gotta tear this whole thing off to get to the uh, cap. And we'll just kinda... I don't have a wrench for this, but you don't really need one. You can just kind of cheat, maybe. There we go. So this is where we can fill it. And there's another one of these here, which is smaller, that you could use as a vent if you needed to, but we just need this so we can fill it. Come here, pig. Okay. First, I want to measure how far your face is off the ground. <laughs> 10, 11 inches. So probably, I don't know how big these guys get, but I guess if we do it a foot off the ground, they should be able to uh, manage that. Can you reach up here? Hey. Hey. Is that too high? Maybe we'll do 10 inches. He's a little bit stubby. All right, 10 inches off the ground. Uh, I'm going to put three uh, watering nipples around the barrel. So I bought three of these bulkhead fittings. These have a half inch inner thread and an inch and a quarter hole that you put these in. It says drill an inch and a quarter hole. I'm going to do an inch and an eighth, so it's a little tight. Okay, so these are the, the watering nipples. So you take your bulkhead fitting, drill your hole in your barrel, connect that, tighten it up. Take your nipple, it's got a filter, and then you just screw it in there. And then when they push on it, water comes out. So that's what we're going to do. Now I'll leave a link below if you guys want to build this yourself. These are the parts uh, that you need. So 
So I measured up eight inches and I'm spacing these apart eight inches. So I have kind of close together. I'm using an inch and an eighth hole saw. I'm just cut a hole. Try and clean this up so you don't have any uh, places where it'll leak. Try not to get too many shavings inside. Now the fun part. That's that. Uh, two more. I always have a rubber gasket here that goes up against the outside of the barrel. So you don't want to over tighten the locking nut in the back so that the gasket bulges, otherwise it might leak. Just needs to be tight enough so that it doesn't leak. It's good to me. Meanwhile in the background, <laughs> the chickens are eating all the baby food. <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> okay, I got this all hooked up. Uh, if you remember back when we had our plumbing problems in the winter and all the pipes froze, I put a T fitting in here so that when it warmed up, I could do this, which is I ran a 10 inch pipe valve adapter for a garden hose. Now I just gotta cut a hole in this, put it back together, and we'll have a hose bib. So, but we still have to run the generator and run the water pump to pump the water. Um, so that's where these will come in as soon as I get that built. Then we'll have 150 gallons of water that we can gravity feed down the hill. Um, and we'll always have this as a backup. So we're going to fire up the generator, see if this works, doesn't leak. Then we're going to fill up the pig barrel and see if they can figure out how to drink out of it. Okay, moment of truth. See if it leaks. No leaks. Don't get the baby chickens wet. I think our uh, whatever that is is broken. A lot of pressure. All right, so this thing is leaking, and I forgot until just now, like last fall, our buddy Josh, who sells ho uh, hose nozzles, brass ones, like super awesome ones, he sent me this to try, and I have not had a chance to try it until right now. So, let's see what we got here. Cool. He sent two of them. <laughs> this is from October 29th, 2017. Sorry, Josh, it took us a long time to get to this. Go to uh, worldsbestbrassnozzle.com and pick one of these up. Ninety-nine point nine percent lead free. Extra rubber hose washers. Uh, limited lifetime warranty. <laughs> and a starburst. This is awesome. Cool. So they send you like five extra rubber washers. Comes with one in here. 
That's what she looks like. All right, let's give her a try. Okay, moment of truth. Sweet. Spray the pig. <laughs> this is cool. Now right. we can make a wallow. Yeah, now we can make a wallow. All right, we're gonna put this barrel in here and then fill her up. 